Good morning and welcome back. Now that we've been down here in Georgia for three weeks, the garden season is quickly approaching and we have now since caged in our yahoos so they can no longer destroy my garden. So with that said, let's get to building my new garden setup down here in Georgia. Okay, so I got some of the garden beds today and I'm gonna to try to set them up real quick before the rain comes. Right now, it looks like we might get some here soon. So I'm sure there are probably cheaper ways that you can build a raised garden bed. These ones were just on super sale on Wayfair at the time and with the limited shopping in our area, it just seemed more reasonable for us to do this than go down to like a Lowe's or a Home Depot and see if they had everything we needed in stock because so far it seemed pretty picked over for the most part. Alright, so this is what we're working with. I think it's seven and a half wide and eight feet long each. Pretty good size if I do say so. He's a handsome boy. Oh, I know what you want, huh? It's the ball. Give me the ball. I know Disneyland may have claimed itself as the happiest place on earth, but some days I have to say I think a garden center, at least for me, is a good close second. <laughs> and now that I finally got more of the garden beds filled in and ready to go, I can start working on getting them ready and filled with some compost and some soil to grow more than just some lettuce greens. But while I was at the garden center, they had so many flowers in, including this Carolina jasmine, which I could have probably planted at least just 20 of these all over our yard. That way it could have crept up all of the trees that line our property. It's just so pretty. And I hope at some point we can move on to more than just the edible landscaping, as I call it, and work towards more of the pretty and botanical landscaping. All right, we got first signs. I believe this is a lettuce row. Just little, little babies. Some over there too. And then this one has a fair amount. Not exactly a straight line though, which is kind of surprising, but no babies there. All right, little update. Spinach is growing good. There's a few little sprouts of arugula. Would you be quiet? Oh, he's getting sassy. And then it kind of repeats um, arugula, spinach, lettuce again. However, someone interrupted me when I was planting them, so there's a chance these are not in order at all. But we shall see. But look at all those! So this is the flower patch that was planted on Wednesday. You can see little ones there, over here, over there, they're coming along. I mean, you know I was going to make another trip to a garden center at some point, right? So this time I was looking around because they said that they had some fruit trees and bushes and all that. More so, I was looking hopefully for a peach tree and an apple tree. In a perfect world, I'd probably find myself a small lemon and a lime tree as well, but we'll see how that goes. It seems like it might be kind of hard to take care of them down here in this soil from what I'm hearing, but I did end up walking away with a blueberry bush and a blackberry bush later on down the road. And hopefully at some point soon, we'll walk away with a few fruit trees of our own to get a little orchard started as well little urban orchard if you will. I'm sure our neighbors are absolutely gonna love me. But anyways we also stopped by and went to one of my other local garden centers and they had all of the plant starters you could possibly imagine including 20 different varieties of tomatoes. I'm not sure I knew that there was that many in particular that could grow in this soil but you'd be surprised. They also had a bunch of flowering plants as well. And then 
just checking out all the possible items we could put in our garden. We'll see how it goes. I'm not entirely sure if I feel super confident since this is an entirely different garden zone than what I've grown up in most of my life. Okay, so I was coming to check in on the blackberry plant and we have a little bit of new growth coming in here. I was hoping maybe, just maybe we get a few blackberries this year. I don't have super high hopes. And then I truly thought that this raspberry plant was going to be a dud from Home Depot, but it looks like we have two, three little sprouts coming up. Maybe there is hope, but we're probably not going to get anything or no produce coming from it this year, probably. And then lastly, we have the blueberry plant, which is already budding quite a bit. Look at all those. And it's March 4th today. Okay, so... Today, I'm going to try and work on filling at least most of this back bed up. Um, I'm trying the whole, what is it, no-till, no-dig method, which means that essentially you just leave the grass where it is, don't dig it up, don't till the earth. They usually recommend putting down a little layer of sticks, then leaves, and then dirt, and then some compost and other topsoil. So I showed you guys the other bed, but now I'm going to try and finish up this bed because it's now March and it's now planting season here apparently for most everything. Okay, so we're back at my favorite place again today. And like some of the plants are doing good, like that blueberry plant's producing. But a lot of these other ones look honestly half dead for $20, $30, $40. Plum trees looking the healthiest out of most of them so far. Got more blueberries. Okay, that is such a pretty little bloom that it gets. Just a whole row of blueberry trees. Bushes, blueberry bushes. And then we have, we used to have a bunch of peach trees, but now it's just mostly apple and some cherry trees. Got a beautiful little magnolia if someone wanted, actually there's a set of them. I'm trying to figure out our landscaping and trying to figure out what our HOA allows has been a fun process. But there's those two pretty little magnolias, a bunch of flowering ones, more flowering ones. I mean, those would all be so pretty to have. Granted, you can't see if they're flowering right now. Okay, so I'm back home now, and I got, I think, 12 bags of soil. But before I put the rest of the soil down, I want to put up this squash trellis, is what it was called when I bought it. It essentially should be somewhere between six to eight feet tall that you can walk under, but it makes growing in a small space much easier because then you take advantage of all the vertical space that you could have. So, I'm going to work on that. I'm going to throw some balls and I'll get back with you. Guys, this thing wants me to have three other people to help me build it. I'm not sure this is going to go, but I guess you're going to find out. So, here we go.
Oh my god, my arm is shaking. <laughs> All right, anyways, so I just ran back in and changed. I could tell that I'm getting a little pink. Honestly, I think my face looks pretty red in this clip. <laughs> but um, I thought we had a step stool. Turns out we don't, it broke before we moved. So I'm about to use one of our bar stools to try and put the attachments on. We'll see how this goes. Okay, so about 45 minutes and an overheated iPhone later, here's what we got. I'm just truly open, it's not a problem with the HOA. From what I've researched, it shouldn't be, but this will be my squash trellis. It's about, I think, seven feet tall. So, there you have it. All right, one last glimpse. Also, if you're not straight on, it really looks like it's crooked. Anyways, so I have filled these four beds. I have enough to fill that one, but I'm not gonna do it yet. But I still need to get more bags for that. So it's probably another 12 bags. Not too bad though for about an hour, hour and a half's work. All right, that's it for today's garden preparation video. I'll see you guys in the next one.